Oh, look, the gummy samples. How lovely. But you do know this is not enough, yeah? We cannot just sniff the sour gummy and boop, have the answer. Ah, wizards today and no respect for science. We need on the process gummy jelly and traditional non mass produced gummy creature to compare. The first thing is easy. Just get the gummy jelly from the black licorice cheese. Well, easy, except for the chocolate mousse that gather around the black licorice trees, sister. Yeah, obviously. You have to fight the chocolate mousse before collecting the black licorice. Everyone knows that. Why even say it? I say it because you did not say it. Anyway, also get a traditional gummy from Sugar Plum Sherry. She still makes them the old-fashioned way. Welcome, true believer, to Sugar Plum Sherry's Old Fashioned Gummy Companions, not affiliated with Nana's Old Fashioned Caramel Delights. We make gummies the real old fashioned way, sprinkling the black licorice trees with sweet fairy dust, then carefully molding the jelly by hand. Then slowly, meticulously dusting it with fairy dust again to bring it to life. Well, I say life. Gummies are not alive, they are like the robots, but chewable. Yeah, used to be every family had their own workhorse gummy companion. It was a rite of passage to make one. Anyway, how many gummies can I get you? One? Oh, that is too bad. I do not have that many. My stock was stolen, you see. By Nana. Yeah, they do not like competition. Took my gummies to the logging camp for shipping back to Caramel City. If you save them, I could give you one as reward. Oh, hello, sweetie. Welcome to Nana's old-fashioned gummy logging operations. Um, do not take this the wrong way, but leave. <clears throat> now. Oh, Nana knows you, sweetie, and she does not want the trouble. If you have come for Sherry's gummies, sorry, Nana cannot let you have them. According to Nana's old-fashioned caramel legal code, subsection 32, paragraph 12, we own the gummy recipe and thus all gummies. 
So if you go into the warehouse and take them, my fulfillment artisans are well within their legal rights to destroy you. So please leave and have an old-fashioned delightful day. The one Nana's old-fashioned news broadcast said is an evil witch? Yeah, it is definitely the one. They say this wizard is the scion of the world tree. Maybe we take the lunch break now. Nana cancelled the lunch breaks, said they disrupted workflow. So now we just leave early. Do we, though? Well, if we met our daily quotas in time, which, yeah, were increased recently, but, um, uh, let us talk later. Leave now. You do realize you are now stealing from Nana, sweetie. Oh, Nana simply cannot let you do that. And, as agreed, you may keep one as reward. What do you need it for, if I might ask? What? That is inconceivable! Sour gummies? Bah! In Saint Troll Talk, that is! Well, take your gummy and see if you can sort out the problem. The mean wizard returns. Let us see what they brought. Hmm, the licorice looks clean. The sour is not natural. And Sherry's gummy is also clean. Which means I was right. It is a problem with Nana's manufacturing process. What about the Goombajack samples? They're different from the others. Yes, yes, good eye, but not relevant. They are not made from the gumdrop trees, but from the candy corn syrup. It is not sour, just bland. But why is the corn syrup blunt? No, fairy dust. I bet. And without the sweet fairy dust, maybe candy corn gummies slowly turn sour. We must experiment. I know that. But first, we need the raw candy corn and then some sort of sourizer to add to it. The sugar dandruff of the Sour Patch Goats will do. There is a candy corn farm nearby. I will go there for some samples. Visit, you get the sugar dandruff and come find me.
Did you get the dandruff? Wunderbar. I was gathering some candy corn, but I was distracted by the farm itself. I mean, look at it. It is like someone found a traditional country farm and dropped a gummy plant on top of it. But why? It's a lot of effort just to make Goomba Jacks. And why plant all this candy corn in the first place? Nobody really buys it. Nana just sells it as the healthy caramel snack. Anyway, sorry, distracted. Let us just get that candy corn. This should be enough. Let us get it back to the Ved sisters. You are back! Now let us mix the sourizing agents with the unsweetened candy corn and... Wunderbar! My theory is correct! My theory is correct! I said that without fairy dust sweetening, the candy corn could turn sour! Me! Your obsession with credit is just sad. But look at these Sweetsburg samples. They are sour now. See how they now compare to our sour candy corn? They are the same. Sweetsburg gummies are candy corn too. The sour just made it hard to notice. But these samples have no sugar dandruff. Exactly. We have proven that candy corn can go sour, but not why it keeps doing it. We need to identify their mysterious sourizing ingredient. There is a gummy plant at the nearby farm. A strange one. I say we bust in there and see what they're doing firsthand. Are you in, Wizard? What in the tarnation are you, the vomit to who I am referring, doing by the door of my Wunderbarn? We were, uh, just so excited about seeing how Nana operates. She is so great, yeah? I do not, as they say, rootin' and a tootin' believe you, but I also do not care. The Nana, she rosso rangos my farm and turns it into the factory. Oh, it's so important, they say. We're making no super top secret gummy jelly to spread the happiness initiative. Do not tell anyone. Patui, I say. All these stars that attract a brutal pest that are rascally. Perhaps if you clear them out of my silo, I leave the factory open, yeah?
Ah, now I understand. Nana uses the candy corn for the gummies because the corn grows faster than gumdrop or black licorice trees. More corn means more gummies, means more mining and lumberjacking, means more products, means more delight to send it to the spiral. Well, yeah, but also the candy corn syrup works better with this secret ingredient they make in the hothouse back there. Whatever that is. Now, did you fix my pest problem, partner? Good, but to keep them away, I need to set the traps. So one last favor, yeah? I have many traps, but I need you to get the bed for them. There is one thing that the brutus out of almonds like even more than candy corn. Spit. The sweet, sweet spit of the chocolate mousse. Defeat the mousse, get the spit, set the traps, and I open the factory. Get it to the up. Stranger, now you can help me with my cotton candy crops. I kid, I kid. Actually, I did not kid. But your friend, she makes a noise like the angry bull. Ugh. Yeah, that is the one. So instead, let us hop in too. Here is the key to the factory. I'm not even supposed to have cotton candy anyway. But if you wanted to help me with it on the, as they say, down low, without Nana knowing I'm planting anything but her precious candy corn. Ugh, play on the farm later. Right now, let us find out what Nana's doing with these gummies. Let us actually start with the hothouse. As much as we need to see what is in the factory, I think now we should start here. Esther said the silo is where the secret ingredient is made. It is then piped into the factory itself. This must be the sourizing agent we're looking for. So let us go in there and see what it is. This place is off limits to valued customers. Please exit through the gift shop. Error, gift shop not yet constructed. We will have to disable security to find the secret ingredient atop the silo.
Wunderbar. Owen wird in Opfit. What in the name of Bubblegum are you doing here? Well, uh, inspection? Oh, well, this is the hothouse, the source of the secret gummy ingredient which is essential to the happiness. Wait, wait, you did not sing the official inspector song. And you noticed. Very well done. Top marks. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. I do not think you are the inspectors. I think you are the witches. Get them! Hamster, what is going on here? What is the secret ingredient? I cannot say. And I mean that literally. Nana's Presta Litigation Division cast upon me a spell of non-disclosure. But the secret ingredient is love. <laughs> it is not love. It is actually quite repulsive. But as you can see, I cannot say. Oh, fine. We will just see it for ourselves. Come visit. That pipe to the factory is higher up. Keep going. Hmm, nothing here. That is rather anticlimactic. Hopefully the final floor is more interesting. What is this? This cannot be. It is impossible. But there is nothing else here, so it must be it. The source of the secret ingredient is... <coughs> gobblers! They are... sweating gobblers! Then piping that sweat over into the factory and... Ugh! Why? Visit, we need proof of this. Use photomancy to take a picture of these gobblers. Could you let us out of here? It's just about lunchtime. There is a lever over there. Maybe that will release them. That did it. The gobblers have been dumped down to the lower floor. We must find them. Maybe they know why this is happening. Hello? What were you all doing back there? Waiting for lunch. No, I meant why were you in the sweat boxes? What did they want from you? Sweat? Now where's my lunch? Do you have it? Give me my lunch. Oh no, the gobblers have gone hangry. Watch out, visit. Yeah. 
tired now. Good, that is good. There are probably some sweets outside. Why do we not just go out there so we can talk? I have been speaking with our gobbler friends and I've learned something. They can sleep standing up, which is utterly unhelpful information. We need to know why Nana's using their sweat to make the gummies. Which means we must now go into the factory itself. The door is round the other side. We can use Esther's key to get in. Okay, we are going to need pictures of everything in here so the Ritz sisters can inspect what is going on. Let us start in this room. Those look like the main gummy jelly vats. You can see where the goblet sweat is piped in. Use Photomancy to get a picture of them. Now, from what I can tell, the assembly line goes like this. After the goblet sweat is mixed in, the blended jelly is then sent from the vats into the bond division to be molded into gummies and stamped with their functionality. Then the completed gummies go to the farmer's house branch for approval, final processing and shipment throughout caramel. That means the bond division is where we need to go. Let us see how this corrupted syrup is made into gummies and why. a freshly pressed Goomba Jack. It does not seem to be hostile. Is it not sour yet? No, you're not sour at all. Oh. You have no idea what sad state of affairs led to your creation. No, you... It bit me. that all about? They just turned sour right on the spot. Is goblet sweat really that zesty? It was a fresh gummy, so it did not degrade or go bad. It was made bad. Maybe something is a function stamping that gives gummies their jobs. Take a picture of the molds visit, then we will go find out. I have an idea. It is a weird theory, it makes no sense, and if it is true, it means the sour gummy problem is much darker than we thought. 
But I think I know what set off the Goomba Jacks. Come this way. Sad. <laughs> yeah, you see, it is a trigger word. The Goomies turn sour when someone says sad. <laughs> Um, whoops. This means right, visit. It is not negligence or cutting corners that is making the gummies go sour. They were designed to go sour at a specific time when somebody says the right code word. Nana is not making shoddy products. She is making a time release army of gummies. But how does Goblisvet do that? There is one more room down here. Perhaps it is where all the answers are stored. More gummy molds. But what are these gummies they are making? Why, those are the platinum line of Nana's happiness initiative, the Creme Berets. And now there is a creepy voiced PA guy. Wunderbar. Creepy? I'm so terribly sorry. I did not mean to disturb you so. The last thing I want is to make you sad. Tougher even than Vajama Golems. Too powerful for simple security. What could they be for? Get a picture of these molds, visit. All of Caramel needs to know about this. We still do not know why Nana's doing this. Perhaps a wretch on the loudspeaker can tell us. Unlikely fools, but come find me if you dare. Then you will learn no one leaves the factory of Wilhelm Wonky alive. Except for his employees, I would hope. Come along, visit. Let us review. We know Nana is using gobbler sweat instead of fairy dust to make the gummies. Somehow this makes the gummies sour, not sweet. And we know that the sourness is a feature, not a flaw. It seems Nana, likely the Grand Nana, is playing a diabolical game right under our noses. But what is her aim? Why do all this? The farmer's house branch is where these gummy sleeper agents go for approval and final processing. I bet we will find our mysterious Mr. Wonky there. No doubt the factory's boss has the answers we seek. <laughs> 